Hello, 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 and welcome back to Graveyard Keepers. Did you know it's very important to make sure you have enough disk space when you begin recording? Otherwise, you will lose footage. So here we are, uh, back in Graveyard Keeper. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and we are trying this whole thing once again. We've missed out on a few things that have happened, uh, but that's okay. We are continuing on. Didn't that only have two reps? Did I not take out the two bad things? Oh no! A surgeon's mistake! Our inexperience shows the surgeon go very well. You've made a mess of the body, lowering its quality. So this should have been a six skull one, uh, but it is not now. It's five and that's as good as that's going to get. Right. Well, anyways, let's stick that thing in the ground. And by thing, I mean a human being who died and we are respecting the corpse very much so. Um, we definitely won't throw it on the ground in a second. No, 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 no. That would be highly inappropriate. And, you know, all these unmarked graves. Also, not the best look in the world. Uh, but we're trying. It, it's okay. This graveyard's actually gotten worse. It was at five because we opened the church, but now it's just seriously not as good as it once was. Right. We recently went to the astrologer. We got some ink so that we could make some flyers. We got partway through making the flyers, and then we got very tired and had to go to bed. So... There, those are the 10 flyers we now need for the Inquisitor. We just need the 20 firewood, and then on this next day of Wrath, he will be ready to come and burn a witch. Uh, we've got a bit of time before that happens, so let's see what else we can get done. Now, oh no. Is this day just starting? Or did I miss it? No, this day's just starting. So today we're going to be leading a sermon. So we're going to need our prayer, which oh, I'm not sure where I put that. Possibly down here? No. I'm gonna put some of this stuff in here though. Things that we just don't really need right now can go in here. And we're going to go find that sermon. Because we need to give a little speech. And we've also been given a key by the astrologer. Um, but we're not really sure what to do with it because Snake doesn't quite want it yet. It doesn't work to open the gate. There's got to be something that we need to do, but I don't know what it is. So we'll have to figure that one out. We're going to keep looking and trying to solve that mystery. Let's see if we can go find that sermon first, though. Because that's going to be pretty important for today. It's not in there. Okay, maybe I put it in with my food? No. Did we put it down here? Also, no. Do you know what? I have a theory. I think I maybe put it outside the church. Um, but let's just have a little rest until morning here. Uh, and then we could actually go get the sermon from the church bucket. Church bucket? And then we could actually deliver the sermon and people will actually maybe come because it's, you know, daytime and not the middle of the night. That makes sense to me. Feeling refreshed and good to go. Right. Oh, look, and it stopped raining. What a glorious day here. The old graveyard. I feel like it rains a lot, so we gotta, you know, love the nice weather when it's sunny and lovely. Ah, okay, so our good friend the bishop is here. Yes, okay, so I just can go downstairs, I think, now. I did think that this was here. As you are a cleric now, you should be involved in all our blessed activities. I've decided to open a soup kitchen for the poor near the cathedral. It'll help me improve my image. Apparently, when they're hungry, my good looks stand out more. Ha ha. So I need a lot of cheap bowls. And it seems you have clay deposits just in front of your church. Make some bowls for me, and I'll give you a cleric's beginner's guide. It will give you your first few... spiritual knowledge to start with. Also, I'll gladly buy any bread you have for the soup kitchen. For a special price, of course. I am, after all, representing his will. We need to gather some sand and clay. We've got the technology now. We can do it. Uh, we'll give him some balls. We don't have the balls yet. But we can do a casual prayer. We already have one of those, so we don't need to buy a second one. What was this about clay deposits? I'm assuming that's what this hole is. Oh yeah, look at that. Get some clay. Uh, but this is not what we were intending to do. The balls will have to wait, sir. We're going to go give our sermon. Because we do need more... Well... We need more faith. Okay, so this is going to give us some faith. So church quality needs to be at least five, uh, which it is. Good. Okay. And our sermon needs, ah, ten. 
Success chance is only 50%. Okay, so we might not have enough success because we don't, our, our church isn't good enough yet. We're gonna have to do some improvements, but I'd like to say a few words. Our church is great. And now let us pray for this blessing. Oh dear. Oh dear. Did you see it? It, it fizzled out a bit. Your donations are welcome. They're saying it was a great sermon, but I think that they may be uh, telling tales there. And um, those donations are pretty sad. We only were given one faith for that, so we definitely are going to need to improve the quality of this church. I think we might need to unlock some more technologies for that. Let's go see about making some balls. It failed. That is just harsh. Uh, I think we need to look in the technologies, even probably to make those balls. Do we have the ability? Ah, here it is. Clay. So making ceramic balls and making a potter's wheel. So if we unlock that, we need to probably go collect some resources and we're going to be able to put some balls together for the cleric. Now, can we do it today? That is the real test, the real challenge here. Everything takes so much longer than I expected it to take. Potter's wheel. Oh, we've got all the things needed for it. So that's... That's a good start. Let's put it back there. I feel like we're not going to use it that often. So the fact that it's behind stuff is probably okay. Hammer that together. Smash, 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 smash. And good enough. And just need a bit of water. Luckily, we've got a well right here. A bucket of water. Tori, I think it's best if we put that here and then we can just quickly do that. Grab the water out and make some bowls. Fantastic. Personally, I love a bit of pottery and I wouldn't mind making some nice bowls. How many did he want? I feel like it probably wasn't nine. We're gonna need to get some more clay. Do a little quick jog back over here. See how many he wanted. Uh, 20. Okay, that's that's quite a bit more than I was expecting. We're going to end up holding these bowls for a whole week, aren't we? Probably. Yeah, probably. Play. Crap. That's going to be more than enough there. That's enough to make 21, and we already have nine, so that would be making 30. We really do not need 30. No, no we don't. But we might be able to use the bowls for other things in the future, so having extra is not going to hurt anyone. What do we need to make 12 now? But I bet you he's going to be leaving. We're not gonna be done in time. It's a race against the clock, but I think we're going to lose, especially since I have no f energy and we are out of food. Um, I can't even eat anything because there's nothing here to eat. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Quick, cook up some of your carrots. Then maybe just eat some. Can I? I can just eat a bit of cabbage. Just have a little cabbage snack. I'm sure that's fine. A bit of raw cabbage. But he's going to be already gone, isn't he? He doesn't hang around after dark. But we've got your bowls, sir. Ow! Oh, there he is. And doesn't want to talk. Even though we've got the bowls he wants. He's not interested now. Fine. Be that way. Oh, right. We're tired. <laughs> I guess eating that cabbage was for nothing then. Let's go to bed. And in the morning, let's see what's what. carrot cutlets. See, this is going to be good. We're going to actually have some food that's cooked and that's going to be very beneficial to our energy levels because we seem to be always tired, just constantly living our life in a state of dreary weariness. All right, up and at them. Nice and refreshed. Those carrot cutlets are done. We can move those down here to actually be eating them. That could be worthwhile. Now, it is... 
this lovely day. I think it's the day of lust and a bit of faith. We've got our prayer on us. I don't think we need to have that. We are going to be needing more. We don't have any iron ore at the moment. We're going to need more iron ingots soon. Also got some of our crops ready again. Could be time to do a little bit of gardening. This place ready to go. Inventory management is a serious, serious problem in this game. There's far too much things to be holding all the time. Right, there we go. Pop some of those seeds back into the ground. We're quickly running out of things. fertilizing here then it's ready to go for next time all of these seeds we do not have enough to actually put in the ground because you do need to do it in multiples of four so we'll have to probably go buy some more stick some more things on the compost heap and let's just go over here and dump a bit of stuff out of our inventory we need to be thinking about our next steps. What can we do that's going to be very helpful? Hmm. Hmm. Let's take a look and see what kind of quests we've got going on. So, Jerry wants a bottle of wine. I feel like we're a ways off from that. Get the diary from the church cellar, but we haven't figured out how to get into that cellar yet. Bring 20... No, wait, are we in the church cellar? Let's just go take a look really quick. Because I don't know if we have broken down everything that we could break down there. Maybe we need to do a little bit more investigating. Definitely work on this and improving the quality here. Definitely need to be working on improving the quality in here. Those things moved out of the way. Now, it looks like we've done all there is to see in here. Study some more items. What is this? I have no idea. Let's study it. Hmm. Didn't give us any blue, which is what we really need. So let's put that away. Mario's certificates should be going into town. Ah, oh, the story away as well. I think we're going to head into town very quick. And sell our burial certificates. Perfect. Pihong, it's you again. Ooh, we need five of those to be confident and then maybe she'll like us. Don't quite have enough of that yet. Because we have struggled with our sermon this week. We need to improve that church. So maybe we need to be looking in here to see what we could do to improve the quality of our church. Things like making candles or church benches. And we actually do have enough spiritual points that we could unlock that one. Oh, cremation. Hmm. I feel like this is what we want, though these to improve our graveyard. So we're going to need at least a bit more, one more of those blue points. So I wonder if we should, can't teleport home at the moment. Let's go see if we can get a few more seeds because we've got odd numbers of things, which means we cannot actually currently plant the things that we want to be planting. So let's go down to the farmer down here and buy a couple of more of his seeds. Just a handful of each will do. And then we can get a few more things into the ground. So they are not cheap. Certainly not cheap. Have we planted any wheat yet? I actually am not even sure about that. Let's buy a good amount of that. And then we're going to teleport home because that's much faster. All right, let's quickly go get these things in the ground. I haven't even finished digging out these plots yet. That's all we can plant for now, but 
a good start. We need to get one more blue, so let's go downstairs to the study table. Possibly if we try to study another body part, that could work. So maybe we've done blood. Let's take a bit of fat, maybe? Or skin? Or the skull? Let's take the skull. Let's go study a skull <laughs> and see if that will give us the one more blue point that we need uh, in order to unlock better the grave sites. And then we can start doing some stonework and get this graveyard looking a lot better because right now it is a bit, a bit rough around the edges. Need that tidied up, looking gorgeous. Who knew the life of a graveyard keeper was this busy? Right, studying one skull here. Look away at that. Yes, look at that, okay. Fantastic, that gave us tons of blue points, in fact. Right, now we need to open up our technologies. We're going to be getting stone... Stone gravestones, uh, because... We need to make our place more beautiful. More beautiful! You heard me. <laughs> right, let's go see what that has done for us. Because I can't believe this place has fallen back down to three. It's not even good enough to have the church open in the beginning. You needed five and now we've got three. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Uh. Right. Are we going to need some sort of stone cutting device? A stone cutter. So we don't currently have one of those looking around here. No. So let's just pop that down there. I think that's what we need. We've got a stone stockpile, but we don't actually have any stone on the stockpile. That's another thing that needs doing. Right. So we can take some of those old ones and craft them into stone. We can also extract iron ore from these large blocks. Here we've got stone repair kits. And here we've got the gravestone and the gravestone fences. So let's make three of these to start and see what that looks like. I mean, it looks like our energy quickly depleting, but giving some of building these is actually giving us blue. So this is going to be the key way to get blue early game. Fantastic. Okay. We're not going to be able to install. Oh no, I've got a bit of food. We're good. Let's go install them in the rain. Seems very fitting. Pouring out. Classic. Is this game taking place in London, England? Quite possibly. Right, let's see. You can only be repaired a little bit more, bro. This body's only going to give us one more, so maybe let's not focus on you to start. Let's go over here and pop that in. Oh yes, that's good. So if we change this wooden marker out, we'd be able to get a tiny bit better out of that body. This body is really quite terrible. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's still not good. This one's at negative one, but we can get it up to positive one here. Beautiful. Okay, now our quality of our graveyard is up to nine. So at least we've got that going for us. Are these stone? No, it's a wooden cross. If we take those... Well, we could take this out, I suppose. Or we could repair them. Actually, Let's take them out and then we'll be able to use the pieces to get raw resources. I think that actually was a good one. We're making this place much worse again. Just need to borrow that for a moment. Anything else? This one can go as well. All right, we're going to go break those ones down and use the resources to make some new ones. Hopefully, we may have to go mine some stone though. We've got two of these that we can get stone from. It's a good start. And 
we go over here to make no can I get wood back from these actually is a good question no looks like we just build them can make one more of these and get some more of those blue points no we can't we need to eat there we go now we've got tons of blue points 39 we're up to which means more technologies that could be unlocked. So the ability to garden and be able to pray for shoots and roots. That could be an idea or advanced melting. I don't know if we're quite at that point yet. Ooh, woodcutter. Being able to ooh, get two logs from big trees. That could be something. Or I know we need to make wooden beams, but oh my goodness, that's a lot of those red points when we only have 53. Not quite at that point yet, I don't think. I wonder if we should go with gentle butcher. Then we're less likely to make surgical errors, which could be, could be really good really, because we have had a surgical error, which did ruin a body already once for us. Hmm. Lots to think about there. I don't think we can do anything with these. We can study them, but I might just get rid of them. This could be a mistake. Let me know in the comments if I'm doing that wrong. Uh, quite, prank, quite frankly, we definitely could be. Uh, this gravesite, I think we're just going to get rid of that one as well. Bye-bye. Uh, we're just going to try to get these wood ones, but we definitely need to be getting more stone. Let's see if we can find some stone to gather. We'll snack away on our carrot cutlets. Good old mining. Oh, that didn't give us any. Oh, it did give us some stone. This is fine. Just need lots and lots of stone. Is our pickaxe broken or are we just in the wrong spot? Just standing in the wrong spot. It is fine. Excellent. That's given us quite a bit more stone. So we can come back over here and now we can make a bit more of those lovely grave markers and fences now the fact that these give us blue is just fantastic because the blue has been fairly hard to get up to at this point some headstones we're of course going to be too tired and we are out of food how do we put anything else to cook we could be cooking up some beet slices, so let's do that for now. But I think what we're really going to have to do is just take a quick little nap. But we are at a video time for today, so thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please remember to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more. Uh, because this has been quite the little adventure so far and I wouldn't want you to miss a video. So thank you so very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.